Hi family, you are welcome to DK Media. Now, this is DK Media News Update and Reactions. Call me TP2. Today's program covers Bujubantin's statement made about Afrobeat on an interview with Drink Shams. This has triggered a lot of conversations. Also, we will move to Vibes Cartel's doctor's visit and announcement of upcoming program that is Freedom Concert Program in December. After putting this, his former boss, Sting Lane, came to make a comment. We will also move on that. Now, let's go back to Bujubantin's story. What did he say? He said, Afrobeat is not uplifting Africans. Afrobeat carries fuckery. When we say fuckery, fuckery means it contains sexuality, and nonsense therefore it is not uplifting africans this has raised a lot of conversations a certain man came in to support bujubantin by making his emphasis and supporting with when you are gone today when you get a lot of hits and you are gone today what are the future going to remember about you and also fuso dg in a social media post also shared a dissenting view on the matter Benna boy also shared his view on this same matter before we continue let's check what buju said let's check the video we will come back on it let you, me ask okay, you a question okay, yes yeah, please amen tell me one afrobeat son that can uplift us uplift us take us from kenya is suffering <laughs> people of the young men of kenya are revolting south africa is on a, um, sudan south sudan you name it but which one of these songs can I relate to for a peace of mind to tell me that I'm in the struggle and we are going to be better in the struggle. And even though the struggle is hard, we're going to overcome. Tell me. You know what? So, that is what Buji said. Let's check what others are also saying about what Buji said, whether they are supporting him or they are against they think, him. Okay, what's going on on the ground in Africa? He says African music today is all about, in his words, fuckery. And I agree with him. When he says it's all about fuckery, he means that African music now is all about childishness. It's all about romance and everything. But Africa is still going through a lot of oppression from the West. Africa is still dominated. And Buju Banton goes on to point out that the greatest musicians to ever come out of the African continent are Lucky Dube, Felakuti, and Salif Keita and others like Yusundu and Baba Ma, because these musicians were speaking to the issues of Africanness. They were real Pan-Africanists. They spoke about the oppression that the people of Africa were facing. For example, Lucky Dube was singing about apartheid. He cried and sang and wailed and mourned about the end of apartheid in South Africa. Fela Kuti was also another musician who was known by Nigerians to be very much against the government. And he dissed the politicians at any chance he got. He sang so many songs about the bad governance in Nigeria and how Nigerians were being marginalized by their own people in Nigeria. Salif Keita also sang about the military rule in Mali how he was displeased about the kind of leadership that Mali had at the time. Buju Banton is speaking to this today, saying all these artists in Africa, they're only singing about fun. They're only singing about me and my baby girl on Friday night. But they're not talking or speaking to the issues that are affecting the people of Africa, despite them having a platform and they're reaching millions of people worldwide, but they're not using this opportunity. Opportunity. And Buju Banton finishes by saying, you will be popular, you will, you will make all the money, but once you are done, once you are no longer as big as you are, what will people remember you for? All these big artists, all the Davidos of the day, all the Diamond Platinums of the day, all the Burner Boys of the day, when you are done and gone, what will people Remember you. Yes, that is the man's opinion. He is throwing his support to Buju Banton, what Buju said. Let's also watch what Fuse ODG said. In the video we are about to watch, Fuse ODG also said, I get what 
Buju Banten is coming from because most Afrobeat hits do not carry the message in it. But that is not to say there are no Afrobeat artists with no positive message in their music. Let's take the video. Yes, people, Fuso DG here. I came on my timeline and I seen Abuju Banton's video and his views on Afrobeats. Now, Abuju's a legend, big rah, and he's entitled to his opinion, but he definitely missed it here. And as one of the few Afrobeats artists who have experienced both extremes, you know, conscious Afrobeats to commercial Afrobeats. On one hand, I have a song with Major Laser Light to Top that has over a billion streams. On the other, I have a song with Damien Marley, Breffier, and it's a song about bring, bringing our people back home and building in the motherland right afrobeats is the most revolutionary form of black music to have ever existed but can't deny that afrobeats would not exist in its current form if it wasn't for high life jazz hip-hop r&b reggae dancehall garage uh, grime soul it's an amalgamation of all of these genres. In fact, you can even say it's the child of all of these genres and a child should always respect his or her parents. A tree wouldn't exist without its roots. But let's not forget that the roots always lead back to Africa. And I get where Buju's coming from because most Afrobeats hits don't really have the message in it. Um, but that's not to say there aren't Afrobeats artists who are making music with a message in it. But for me, it doesn't have to be that deep because Afrobeats is so spiritual. A lot of times we're speaking in our mother tongues, but it still resonates with people. And it's music that's allowing Africans to now fall back in love with themselves and be proud of being African. It's allowing African-Americans to want to come back home and connect back to their roots. It's allowing afro-caribbeans to now want to reconnect with their roots so it's revolutionary in a way that has never been done before 2019 i launched the year of return with the ghana government and we generated 1.3 billion for the ghana economy before the year of return the office were, were issuing out 40 45,000 visas that year after the year of return they issued out 750,000 visas so as well as economic benefits, there are also spiritual benefits. The music is bringing our people back home for them to learn about their history and where they're from. And most times people are just coming to turn up and get lit because it's December in Ghana. But it's now allowing black people to take ownership back off the motherland. And we're buying lands, we're building homes. Most of my artist friends now have homes in Ghana. We're building schools. I'm now building a tech company that's, that teaches a black history called Sona. It teaches black history and African languages. And that's, that's, that all started with the music. You know, it all started with Afrobeats. So I always say to people, Afrobeats is not just lit. It's actually liberation. And it's bringing our people back home. So we need to just focus on uniting as a people and building together. So big up Buju. Bro, we love you. But you really missed it here. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, that is... Fuse ODG's dissenting view on what Buju said. Buju should come back again next time. Let's put this aside and move on to what Benna Boy also said. Benna Boy also said, music is the essence of the artist. So there is no substance in it. A musician can be annoyed, can be happy. The musician can be in a situation to put the situation into music. And based on what Banner Boy is saying, on my view, I can say Banner Boy is putting out the characteristics between a musician and a music, which is not relating to what Buju said. So people move to Banner Boy by saying what Banner Boy is saying is not right. Banner Boy should have rather throw his support to what would you say? Let's watch the video. I feel like music should be that. Music should be the essence of the artist. You understand? The artist is 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 a person. Like uh, me speaking for myself, the artist is a person who has good days, bad days, great days, and worse days. Yeah, that is what Bernard Boy said. So if you have any comments about this, you can also bring it under the video. Share your ideas, share your support, and let's move on. I personally support Bujubantin by creating awareness. Bujubantin, to me, Bujubantin is creating awareness. Though some of his statements weren't right, as Fuse ODG was able to, you know, make things clear. 
Buju Banten is creating awareness. That is what I, I personally love about his, his statement. Now, those who are not bringing out content concerning about social issues will now think about producing such music or bringing content that will cause a social change. I really love the concern Buju has created or raised. Now, let's go to Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel in a recent post shared a video of doctor's visits and updates us on his health issues. Now, as Cartel has made us know that he has a new motto called family and fitness. So, always showing or giving us updates about his health and family. Okay, okay. Now yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Fully active. Fully active. What you man Cartier, yeah, man? Cartier meet Rolex in a daddy. They say it there. Pussy club. I got you. Na 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 na. He's a cute. Na 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 na. We're tag plus. Tag plus. Tag plus. Tag plus. Yeah, family, as we all can see, Cartel is really enjoying with his family local adi that is the son and adiana that is his daughter and also we can all see that Katel is doing well Katel gave us an announcement on his upcoming freedom concert and after announcing his former boss Ting Lin came in with a concern let's check this out Ting promoter Ling said the show won't be faced by vibes Katel's announcement of his upcoming freedom concert to be held in december i believe vibes cartel deserves everything out of music i don't have a problem with him keeping his show but as a businessman i believe everyone should have their space for instance reggae samfest is in summer and going of the same nature don't keep in samfest week that is going to throw out samfest so when it comes to december Everybody knows it stinks time. Family, now this is what the former boss of Vibes Cartel is saying. It seems like the ball has been thrown to us. Now, this is for today. If you have any comment, can you bring it under the video? If this is your first time, kindly subscribe, like, and don't forget to leave a comment. This is your boy, Tip 2. I'm out. Mm -hmm.